If the parking lot at your local watering hole tonight was packed, it's because this is Ladies' Night. And by that, we mean the latest contest for the USA women's team in the World Cup. The tables filled up fast at Jersey's in downtown Cedar Rapids, and fans gathered to watch tonight's battle with Germany. Even some members of the American Outlaws, a national fan club for USA teams. Fox 28 News reporter Matt Hamill was there, too, and joined us with the story. Scott, a lot of people watched the incredible win right here. I'm betting the celebration is still going on tonight at Jersey's. A lot of the fans were ready to go. USA t-shirts, lucky scarves, banners. A lot of people in the corridor watching in sports bars tonight. But they aren't the only ones excited about soccer. It's one of the most iconic images of victory in sports. Flag staying down, and that goes in. And this year's USA Women's World Cup team set out to do it again. And guess who hasn't missed a single game? You're probably not even going to watch, right? No, I'm pumped. Why? Yeah. Tell me about it. I, I want USA to win. FC United Fusion is some of the best soccer players in Iowa, but Coach Mark Riley says the girls let him know he better move up the usual 5 o'clock practice. There would be nobody here. It would be me, you, and you guys. That would be about it. A lot of these girls already on the pitch more than 10 years, determined to play college and beyond, watching their favorite stars every move. Oh, you know, Abby Wambach. She's explosive. She comes out of nowhere all the time. And I kind of want to play like that. Alex, Alex Morgan. Morgan. The Olivias say 13 is the hardest working player on the field. It's not like basketball or football where there's a set play and something's happening. And that's why we say it's so creative. And they know they may not see it again soon. It's really cool to see like your country go so far in the World Cup. To see the players they try to emulate and be like and, and, uh, and, and, and have their heroes get on the field and try to win tonight. Yeah, it's Soccer clubs say the number of girls and boys signing up continues to soar, and a lot of that is because of nights like this. Matt Hamill, Fox 28 News.